In recent years, we've come to see the increasing popularity of blockchain technology like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other coins. These technologies are forming a safe and secure way of carrying out transactions online in the decentralized platform where the middleman, like the banks and the government institutions, are not needed. The promise of this platform is to place the power on the hands of the user and ensure no outside control. It's on this same system that Web3 is based on. But before we look at Web3, let's have a brief look at Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. Web 1.0 was the very first version of the internet that was available for public use, dating back to the early 90s. It was mostly made up of static web pages connected by hyperlink links. After this came Web 2.0, the age of the internet as a platform. With it came the rise of e-commerce and social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Web 1.0 mostly came with static pages that only the users the users could not really interact with or or, or give any sort of information to but web 2.0 also gave the ability for the users to provide information to like their browsing habits and their behaviors so this gave the ability the, the, the ability the user's ability to interact with online platforms and publish content on their own it is the current state of the internet as it is with smartphones and better internet connection being the drivers of growth the argument here is that internet users who use these services have to give up their data and personal information because it collects information about their preferences and the way the services are being used and then sell them to third, party, third parties and also use them to serve, serve up targeted advertisements. So this brings us to Web 3.0. What is Web 3.0? Well, it has no strict definition. It is an idea for the iteration of the World Wide Web based on blockchain technology which uses concept, concepts like decentralization and token-based economics. It has been compared with Web 2.0 where data and content are centralized in the hands of big tech companies. Proponents, proponents envision Web 3.0 as an internet that does not require us to hand over our data to big tech companies in order to use their services. The web would be powered by blockchain technology with all information published on the public ledger on the blockchain. Instead of information being stored on servers, servers, data, that makes up the internet will be stored on the network. Any changes to the data would be recorded on the blockchain, setting a record that would be verified by the entire network. This, in theory, prevents bad actors from misusing data while establishing a clear record of where it's going. A blockchain-centric internet would, in theory, make it harder to manipulate data since the data will be centralized. The concept of web theory is still largely theoretical. There's also issues of anonymity and censorship. If the whole internet ran on web-based technology and architecture and everything was written to the blockchain, nothing would be anonymous. That may be okay for some people but not for those who would want to remain anonymous online. If no one could be able to be blocked from the internet, that would be equalitarian in theory but there would be so much spread of misinformation and hate speech. The internet that we have right now is already very bad at controlling, this, at controlling these issues and it's very unclear if Web3 will make the situation, situation better or worse. Another stepping stone is taking power away from the big tech com companies but that is mostly a pro political problem and not a technological one. And those are problems that the government should be able to regulate. The government should be able to regulate the big tech companies. Web3.0 will also have to escape the bombardment of crypto and NFT scam before it can be taken seriously. So what do you think about think of Web3K? Kindly let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.